Science Tess Rowland shows us some of these animals who are now looking for their second forever home and the veterinarian office committed to helping them get adopted. For some, they're the perfect gift, waking up to a puppy or kitten that is theirs to keep. But one local vet office knows that isn't always the case. So Bella was hit by a car. She was. Her owners just couldn't take on financially, so they ended up owner surrendering. It's something vet tech Lisa Cruz says she sees all the time. They'll adopt them as babies for their kids as Christmas gifts, and then, you know, six months a year go down the line, and they don't realize how hyper or how much training they need and how much time and efforts put into it or how much money is put into having a pet. The Animal Care Center accepts these surrendered animals in hopes they can find them their forever home. He's been here since he was a puppy. He is a year and a half. Dogs like Gus and Jock. So him and his brother both came in um, when they were tiny puppies. They both had parvo, um, so owner surrendered. And the need just keeps on growing. We have, I think, adopted out around 10, 15 dogs already, and I think we have five or six of them left. Reporting in Bay County, <laughs> Tess Rowland, News 13, Panhandle Strong.